One of the best examples of dealing with change is reflected in the privilege that many of us have had to learn how to deal with aging. Some things are inevitable, so you might as well learn to enjoy them. Now, some of you have heard of Garfield the cat. Well, one day Garfield was standing in his kitchen and he had a cup of coffee in his hand with the steam coming up off of the top of the coffee. He was standing there in his nightshirt, a red and white striped nightshirt, and he had his nightcap on with the top of it folded over, and his eyes were half open. And he began to engage in philosophy. And he said that as we get older, we get more and more information. Well, that's what's happened to me. I've gotten so much information that my brain can't hold it all, and it has spilled over into the rest of me. So I'm not really overweight. I'm just really, really smart. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. There was a lady, let's say, of mature age, probably about my age. She told her friend that she was going to aerobics class. And her friend said, well, I guess that would be a good thing to do. After class was over, she came back and her friend said, how did class go? She said, well, I jumped and I pulled and I twisted and I jumped and pulled and twisted and twisted and pulled. And by the time I finally got my leotard pulled up, the class was over. Some of you have agreed with Garfield and me. We think that if God wanted us to touch our toes, he would have put them on our knees. Today we're going to look at three principles that help us cope with the aging process. Those same three principles will help with dealing with change of any type, whether it be in your occupation or in your personal life. One night, an elderly gentleman and an elderly lady were eating together at a place called Trailer Estates. As the night grew on, the man became more and more romantic. Finally, he looked at her and asked, Will you marry me? She thought for about 10 seconds and then replied, Why, yes, yes, I will. And they continued on with their supper, having a wonderful evening together. The next morning, when he woke up, he thought to himself, Last night, when I asked her to marry me, did she say yes or did she say no? Try as hard as he could, he could not remember. Once again, he gathered up his courage and he called her up. And after explaining to her that his memory was not what it used to be, he asked, Last night, when I asked you to marry me, did you say yes or did you say no? And she happily replied, Why, I said, yes, yes I will. And I'm so glad you called because I couldn't remember who asked me.